How are you there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where today we're going to have another master counting video. Now this master counting series is a series that just randomly appears on Edgar TV throughout the year. Normally this will happen when I'm watching darts and I see something that happens and I think there's a better way of doing that and that player got that wrong in that situation. The incident happened last night in the Gary Anderson versus Gerwin Price game. Gary Anderson hits treble five with the first start and then he hits the one. The one's not the problem. The fact that he threw in that area is the problem. This shot here is not the mistake. This is the mistake here, staying up there on that treble 20. Now, like I said, these videos will appear at random points, so make sure you subscribe if you like this and you like how this breaks down and you like learning about the master art of counting in darts. Now, what happens here? The red one. This is what happened. Treble 5. Now... If Gary Anderson would have hit a treble 20 and then a single 20, the shot he would have left himself was 166, which is a bogey number. It's not something you can take out. He's still guaranteed to be six darts away from being able to complete the or two handfuls of darts away from being able to complete the leg. The second option is this one here. He hits the treble five and then the single 20. Now, the issue this causes is that DD stands for dead dart. That last dart is irrelevant in terms of being able to set up a finish. There is nothing you can do from that situation. If he hits a treble 20, it still leaves him on 166. If he switches down to the 19s, he's going to leave himself 169. There is nothing he can do from that position. It is a dead dart, and that's what we want to try and avoid. We want to try and avoid the situation where we could present ourselves with a irrelevant dart in any point of the match or any point of the, of the leg. What we could do is this. Now, if he goes treble five with the first dart, we should be switching down to those 19s. Now, look at the two options that this gives you. If you hit the treble 19 and the treble 19, you leave yourself 132. So if you get both trebles, great. 132, which is a one treble combination shot. Keep that in mind because we'll come back to that a bit later on. Treble five, single 19. So I don't get the treble with the first dart. I get the second dart, leaves me 170. So it leaves me on a finish despite the fact I missed that first dart. If I miss that first dart of the 20, it doesn't give me the opportunity and it leaves me on a dead dart situation. So 261, treble five with the first dart, straight down to those 19s. Now, I put this out on Twitter, at the Edgar 501 If you're not following me, it's over there in the bottom corner over there. Um, if you're not following me on there, I do put these sort of shots on there as well um, when I see them happen. I've had a response on there that talks about going down for the ball. Like, if you get the treble 20 with the second dart, you can switch to the ball. Yes, that's correct. So in the yellow here, you'll see it's an option. You go treble 5, treble 20, then 25 or the ball. Issue there we've got though is it will leave us at 136 if we hit the ball. So the ball is obviously the target we want because it gives us more points. But if we get that, it leaves a 136 rather than a 132. The 136 is a two treble combination to get to the double, where when we can utilize the ball on the 132, we only need that treble 19 or a treble 14 for tops if we, if we do get the ball. If we get the 25, it does mean that we leave ourselves 161. Now, to me, though, this feels counterproductive. This feels like I'm burning a dart. I'm throwing a dart at the 25 or the ball to leave myself a three dart combination where I'm needing two trebles regardless, rather than being able to potentially leave myself on that better shot of the 132. So it feels, like I say, like burning a dart. The other issue we've got is we've got the same issue that we've got up here at the top section. Treble five, single 20 means a burnt dart. If the idea is to utilize the ball with that last dart and you do not get the treble 20, it is causing pressure and unneeded stress on that second dart, and it forces that second dart to be a treble 20 and it doesn't give you the leeway that the 19s do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate this option. I'm going to eliminate this option and say, if you're on 261, you're at a treble five, get switching down to those 19 guys. It's in the maths. It makes all your darts active and gives you a better opportunity of leaving yourself on a finish. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that like button. Let YouTube know. Go, oi, YouTube, this video is great. You do that by hitting that like button. And I'll catch you soon, guys, for some more Edgar TV.